sweating. It's really hard to get to my books when they're stacked. Hi guys, welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Um, I am so excited to start this channel. I did start on TikTok, BookTok, um, just kind of making dumb little videos. Um, and then I found a just great community that I loved and decided just to take it a step further and bring it over to YouTube. Um, just so I can kind of talk more in depth about things and have more than three minutes just to talk. I like to talk. I thought for the first one ever, I wanted to just go over books that I have given five stars. Um, a lot of these books that I have, I don't physically own. I know you can kind of see my atrocious book stack over here because I don't have a bookshelf. If I do not physically own them, I'll attempt to put a picture up somewhere. I don't know if I know how to edit yet. We're gonna find out. So, I just wanna kinda get a couple series out of the way that I read when I was younger that I gave five stars before I was too picky of a reviewer. I'm not that picky now, but I wouldn't have given anything five stars back then. But I weeded out a couple that I would still give five stars to this day. Let's jump right into it. First is the Harry Potter series. One of the first series I ever read. Loved Harry Potter. We know it's a huge hit. Next. Next up will be the Percy Jackson series. I still to this day. Oh day, son. Come on, man. Don't, don't put your head in there. Don't put your head in there. Oh day. That's probably one of my top three um, series of all time. Um, the first five books as well as the second five books um, when they're older, because that's when Percy is <sighs> Zaddy. Then I rated the Hunger Games and the Divergent series all five stars back when I was younger. I don't know if I would give them that again. You are so stupid. Just because I haven't read them since like middle school and I have no idea. I think I remember them being really good obviously but uh. next books that I would give five stars and you probably have seen this coming um, just because I did just read them so I wanted to talk about them first. Crescent City and House of Sky and Breath. Um, these fat daddies. I just feel like she's very very good at world building and I seriously do not understand how she does it. And if you know how this ends you know why I gave this five stars, because I was absolutely crapping my pants. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Next. To stay on the Sarah J Mass train, the next one I would give five stars would be A Court of Mist and Fury. Um, I remember when I first read the first Akatar book, I didn't love it. I didn't really like it that much. And then I read the second one, and it was by far the best one. The third one, I didn't love either. I feel like it kind of got caught up in the whole war, but the second one was perfection. Nothing to change about that one. Wrapping up Sarah J Mass, there's Throne of Glass also, and that would probably be my personal favorite out of all of her book series. And there are a lot of books in that series, I think there's seven, and they definitely weren't all five stars. Um, I did end up giving book three, book four, book five, and book seven all five stars. So Air Fire, Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, that's probably my favorite, and Kingdom of Ash, which is just perfection. It's not the whole series, but the beginning books are needed to get to that later point. Um, and then I never read The Assassin's Blade, so I'm really sorry. Getting out of fantasy a little bit, there is a book series that I gave five stars to. Um, it is the Mind Fucked series. It's five books, but they're all around like 150 pages, so it's not long at all. So if you're a fan of Criminal Minds, read this series. I did not expect to like it because the covers are kind of ugly. It's basically about, what are they called? What are they called? It's basically about a profiler who is looking into these murders um, and then starts dating this girl and he thinks she is absolutely perfect but what he does not know is that she is the person killing the people he's looking for so she's basically a serial killer um she has a hit list that she's going through i don't believe in the glorification of murder i do believe in the empowerment of women you start to really really love their relationship and so you don't obviously want him to find out it's it's a roller coaster. Please read it. If you guys have followed me on BookTok or you know me at all, you know that my holy grail 
Six of Crows. Um, don't know why I don't have the dust jacket, but anyway, Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. I love these books. I go feral for them. I will defend these until the day that I die. If you like heist books, this is for you. Also, all the characters, I could not pick a favorite. I could not pick a favorite if I tried. I'm not going to say much on these because they are very, very popular. Read them. Read them. <laughs> Read them. Next up we have A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, which I do not currently own, but it is the second book in the Blood and Ash series. Um, I gave that one five stars. Sometimes I don't, get, I don't give every book in a series five stars, even if I enjoyed the entire series. Um, the third book did kind of lose me a little bit, but Kingdom of Flesh and Fire, I remember being so, so, so good. Um, and I'm in love with Castile, so I'm biased. It is about a maiden named Poppy, and she is kept very, very secluded, cannot do a lot of things, and her guard is killed, and she gets a new guard, and his name is Hawk, and he must watch her, and he starts to push her boundaries a little bit, um, but she has a secret that nobody knows, a secret power. Um, and the second book is just the continuation of that. Read them. I love them. I haven't read the uh, new one yet, though, so. The next books that I gave five stars, um, these were actually, besides Percy Jackson and Harry Potter, these are the first books I ever owned, ever bought myself. They're a little dusty, a little um, worn and torn, but Ember in the Ashes and A Torch Against the Night. Leia, she goes undercover as a spy, and she is undercover as a slave um, for this rebellion, and Elias, and he is where she goes undercover in, and basically his mother is kind of the tyrant, and he has to play in these games. Read it. I'm really bad at giving book descriptions. I remember absolutely, absolutely loving this first book. It was amazing. Um, and then obviously I went on to get the second, and I have the third and the fourth. Don't come at me, but I have not actually finished this series. And I have been meaning to because, again, these are a couple of my five-star books. And the third I have tried a couple times, and I, it puts me in a reading slump every single time. On to the next. The series I want to talk about is The Atlas Six. I know there is a new version that has come out. I do want to read just kind of what I wrote on Goodreads because I think it sums up this book really, really well for me personally. I said, wow, how that book managed to make me feel so smart and so stupid at the same time is unexplainable. Anything with a group of six or so characters and they're all very, very different, I eat those up. I eat those books up and this was one of them and it was a very academic based book. Um, great to read in the rainy seasons. But um, I'm looking forward to the second book coming out. I need to reread the new one. She added in a bunch of new things, new scenes that are really important for the next book. So I do really need to read that. Definitely buy, pan buy Panic in this book. Everyone is hot. Moving on. <laughs> next series I did want to talk about is Renegades. And this is Supernova, so this is the third book in the series. But this is the only one I gave five stars for some reason. I wasn't expecting to like this series as much as I did. Um, I'm not usually into the futuristic type sci-fi books. Um, however, this one blew me away. It is basically about Nova and Adrian, and they are two people with superpowers. And this whole community, basically majority of them have superpowers. And Nova is with the villains and then Adrian is with the renegades which are supposed to be the heroes. I'm a slut for some YA. Okay next series I want to talk about is the Seven Realms series. Um, this is book two and three but it is so good and I just remember being so obsessed. Hunt Alistair is a thief and Reza Anna Mariana, I never said that right, she was supposed to be in a forced marriage um, and she is a princess of a queendom and I know at one point she has to dress like a man 
and go undercover at the school and he doesn't know it's her and it is just so good. Read it. The next series I really want to talk about is Fallen Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. So there's six books of this one. Fallen Kingdoms definitely gives me a Game of Thrones vibe. When you play the Game of Thrones you win or you die. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to have sex with my brother. Um, it is about the multiple kingdoms and who will come out on top. But basically, this series follows four different people. It follows a princess, a rebel, a sorceress, and an heir. Um, and basically, their lives all end up intertwining. Um, it does take a while for a lot of them to meet. Definitely give Fallen Kingdoms a read. I remember just absolutely loving that series. Next up, we have Gilded Wolves. And Silvered Serpents are the two books, I believe, out of three that I gave five stars. I didn't love the ending um, in the very, very last one, so I was kind of upset by that. So I did not give that third book um, five stars. Very similar to Six of Crows. It is a heist-based book. 1889, it is based in Paris, and it is so good. They have to basically seek out these ancient artifacts. Um, and there's a secret order, and there's magic, and it's so great. Um, I would still recommend this even if I did not love uh, the ending of the last book. And I think that speaks for itself. The next book that I give five stars is a very, very popular one, especially on Book Talk. Um, the Off Campus series by L. Kennedy. I gave the deal and the score um, five stars out of all the books in the series. I have not read the spinoff series yet. But I do want to, um, but I just really enjoyed Garrett and Hannah, and I really enjoyed Dean. They have never had a crush on a hockey player, and now hockey is one of my favorites. Another fantasy book series that I gave five stars was Daughter of the Pirate Queen and Daughter of the Siren Queen. I just love pirate-based stories. I really enjoy them. I got a jar of dirt. I got a jar of dirt. And this one was YA and fun enough that it was such an easy read. I flew through it. I absolutely loved that series. Um, so definitely give that a go. Next is From Luca with Love. Um, I know a lot of people like Mariana Zapata and I, that is the first book of hers that I ended up reading and I really really did like it. It is a little bit of a slow burn so be wary of that. It's basically about professional ice skaters and that is a world that I never really knew anything about and it happened I read it right around when the Olympics were out so it was just super fun definitely want to read more of her books next up we have Serpent and Dove this book is the only book in the series that I ended up giving five stars the other books in my opinion did not hold the height of the first book I thought the first book was very very well thought out and executed and I enjoyed the love story there. She is a witch, he is a witch hunter, they have to get married, and he does not know she's a witch. So there's lots of tension, lots of good storyline there. Um, it's just the next couple books that I didn't love, but I still really, really liked the first. So the next series that is also a pirate series, I got a jar of dirt, I got a jar of dirt, is Sea of Ruin. I loved this book. Um, it says it is YA, it is not YA in my opinion at all. There is a lot of trigger warnings in this book, and I would definitely recommend checking it out before reading it. However, it's got a dark atmosphere, pirates, hate to love, captor captive, a lot of angst, a lot of action. Um, and the main character, she is so, so strong, goes through so much. I loved this series. There's also some twists in there. My camera cut off of me, so it got a little darker, uh, but we're just going to keep going with it. Ricky Mistakes. I want to talk about some more romance-based books. So first we have It Happened One Summer uh, by Tessa Bailey, who is one of my favorite authors. Um, I am from the West Coast, Portland, Seattle area, so I love that this is based in Seattle. Um, very much Enemies to Lovers vibe. Quick, easy read. Definitely recommend it, especially in the summer, obviously. It happened One Summer. Read it this summer. Next we have a book that is very popular on Book Talk. Um, it is The Love Hypothesis. I ended up giving this five stars strictly for the fact that it made me literally giggle like a little kid. And if anything can make me that happy and giddy, five stars. Read it if you like science and you like Star Wars um, because it's based on a fan fiction. I don't know that I could love anything more. And then we have 
Twisted Games. That is the second book in the Twisted series. I personally liked this one the best because it had a princess bodyguard. I just thought it was way more fun than the other ones. Definitely a little more spicy than any other books I have recommended so far. Um, so definitely check that one out. Well, that is all I have for right now, you guys. Those are my five-star reads. Um, I'm going to link my Goodreads down in the description um, so that y'all can check out these books or other books that I am wanting to read or currently reading. Um, I update it all the time. If you want any specific videos out of me, please comment down below what you want to see. Or if you have any recommendations based on the books I've talked about, please drop them. Always adding to my TBR. I need a sign off, but I don't have one yet, so peace. That was really bad. <laughs> Bye!